So I think we, we should just start chronologically, right? So we start with Hot Pursuit 2, and then we move on to Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, Carbon, and then Pro Street finally. The Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. So this is, keep in mind, this is just running on a PlayStation 2 emulator, so graphics are going to be very little. So here's the thing, I'm not actually that familiar with Hot Pursuit 2, because this was a little bit before my time. Alright, here we go. So this is the PlayStation 2 demo of Hot Pursuit 2. Let's see how good it is. Speedo is different. Oh yeah, Speedo is different for sure. Let's see if we have the jump cutscene. Hey! <laughs> Huge air! Yeah, this definitely looks like it is a later build. It doesn't look too different. But I really think Hot Pursuit 2 is such a difficult game, honestly. Only a third. This game is so hard! Honestly, even the demo. But I feel like that's all the demo had to offer, it was a really small one. Coming late, summer 2003, that's a time ago. So let's, let's, let's wrap it up here then. I think that's really all the Hot Pursuit 2 demo has to offer. It was mainly just one race. Little differences in uh, UI, some uh, no damage model, and the cops were in a bit of a higher speed class. But I think this is where it becomes really interesting, and this is because uh, it's also the, the this is where I started checking out the demos. Underground One, this demo is really interesting. So if you're familiar with this intro, the same way I am, you notice that they used a completely different song here. I feel like the the intro song for Underground One is super iconic, and this one just it just doesn't hit it. It just doesn't hit right, you know. Like it's so good, but I feel like it doesn't have as much personality as the previous. Uh, or like the the final intro. All right, Nevis, we underground. Press the start button and look at this menu. Rule the streets NFS style or city streets straight line all out. Let's start with the regular circuit. I actually feel like I can see why they didn't win, didn't go with this menu type because it's a bit distracting. But goddamn, it looks cool. And here we go. Here's the cars. We got an eclipse to start with. This looks. This is completely different. Like you don't have this like garage. You know this endless tunnel. That I really liked, that I found really cool, but you just have like random garage here. Dude, I only have this one car. They only let me choose the Eclipse. But we immediately get to customize here before we get to race. And it just writes the car for me. God, this thing looks awful. <laughs> but why not let it do it ourselves? Like they just pre race a car. So here we go. This is Underground 1. Man, that looks weird. <laughs> plate is in the bin. It makes sense, you know, if you're street racing, you obviously don't want a license plate so that the cops can't identify you. No music. That is... that is strange. Oh, it's just one lap, holy shit. Wait! Wait! Bridge is down on the other side, you see that? The bridge was down on the other side. Why does that make any sense? It makes, it makes no sense! So let's try the drag race. Is it gonna be the Eclipse again? Seems so. Oh boy, that's the first crash. Holy crap. Accelerate with the- Ah, actually the car looks different now. I didn't even pay attention. Ah, fuck, wrong button. Doesn't look as awful anymore. <laughs> Although the- The hood <laughs> is- is pretty disgusting. Do we have the train? Yes, we do! I lost. Damn it. Man, is there no- Holy shit. There seems to be no indicator when you need to shift, so you just kinda need to- GUESS! Oh boy. <laughs> so that's the- That's still a thing. That is it, sadly. <laughs> but at least you can replay these two, you know? Should we, should we go back into the circuit mode and just look for, like, differences? Oh, does it look different now? Oh, it actually randomizes the tuning. Look at that. It looks like it actually randomizes the tuning on the Eclipse. Because now it looks completely different. Alright, so let's, let's see what happens with the crowd. Oh. <laughs> they just got Thanos. Okay. But I think the map should look mostly the same. Because that's usually the first thing that gets finished. No neon arrows that hover over intersections. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, right. You can just fuck off here. <laughs> the way he's going. The way he's going. Oh, he's actually, look at that. Actually turning, and then he's probably despawning. What happens, by the way, if I dunk my car into the water? That's the next thing I want to try. Yeah, as I thought. <laughs> I actually got respawn on the side. But yeah, this is still weird to me. The bridge is only open on one side. Look at that. I think that's about it for the Underground 1 demo. Certainly more interesting. So let's move on to the next one. Underground 2. 
This should be a little bit more interesting because this one had open world. So I would imagine, since this was the first game in the franchise that had an open world, the open uh, the demo lets you explore a little part of the open world. Ooh, that demo that looks definitely different. That logo looks definitely different. It's basically just the logo from Underground with a two slap next to it. Welcome to Need for Speed Underground 2. That song definitely got cut. This demo lets you experience a small part of the high-speed, fast-paced world of tuna culture available in the full version. Okay. Looks pretty normal so far. Oh, look at that. It says paint shop there. There's usually no signs like that. You actually have to find them. Okay, let's, let's do paint shop first then. I think the paint shop looks different. Also, the car is spinning. I think they actually give you like a really nice look into the game here, where with Underground 1 it's just like, here's two races, have fun. And with Opposite 2 it's just like, here's one race. <laughs> yeah, I think that one looks a little bit better. I mean, it's just like, both is ricey, but I feel like that one's too ricey. The Race Breaker? Race Breaker is a new addition to your Nitro system. When you fill your Nitrous past 100%, you start collecting Race Breaker Nitrous. This adds even more boost and grip to your car and can make the difference in a race. Grip? Green Race Breaker Nitrous. Okay, this is interesting. So, I know that you can get more Nitrous by like doing like close calls and stuff in the original game. This Race Breaker thing was not a thing. This is a really extensive demo, I gotta say. Like, for a demo, this is pretty impressive. But look at the minimap, man. It looks really different. It looks like someone just drew on the minimap with, like, a marker. <laughs> Actually, I haven't checked out the pause menu yet. Let's try that. Huh? You have a slider for the jump camera? You think it's just, like, on or off? Why do you have a slider for the jump camera? How often you get it? Probably. Ah, yeah. This is probably blocked off here. Open November 2004. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's call it a quit demo. I'm out. So moving on, and this is where we move to Most Wanted, which I think most of you guys are already familiar with anyways. But yeah, th this is still really, still a really interesting demo, because this is... This one has an insane amount of differences, which you can already see. Like this image here doesn't have cops in the background for some reason. Like usually there's cops on this image. Okay, so we have a selection of, of four vehicles, one of them being the... M3, obviously with no reflections. And an antenna! I, I actually brought this up in the Icebreak video. This thing has an antenna. RX-8, I don't think this is like supposed to be anything in particular. Boneless. <laughs> Boneless M3. If you don't like the livery. And then I think this is, yeah, it's, this is Mia's. I think most people here choose the M3 anyway, so let's, let's actually choose Mia's car. Obviously, like, I don't need to tell you, like, the entire menu is here are completely different. Tobooth, the sprint, and then we can actually challenge Rog, who is not an ally in the demo, but is actually your first Blacklist rival, which is really interesting. So I'm gonna put my hand in the fire here and say that actually I think this PlayStation 2 demo looks better than the final game. Like, there's just something about the filter that is being used here that looks so much better than the final game. Also, same for the minimap. It actually looks higher quality here than in the final game. I mean, remember that this is PS2. This is running on a PS2 emulator, so obviously they, it looks just kind of little by default. But I think like the visual treatment of the game here looks a lot better than what you get in the final game. It still has that same gritty style, but since you just don't have such a massive brown filter on the entire thing, this is a lot more pleasant to look at. Also, I think there's something about the reflections that looks a little bit better, but that might be just completely... That might just completely be me. Here's the really interesting thing. You cannot drive through prison here. It is blocked off. Yeah, when it comes to the camera, the camera was actually ported over from Underground 2. That's why it looks the way. Like, you notice how the camera kind of, like, tilts the opposite way when you turn. And yeah, cops look different too. Like, the cop model is more, cl more similar to Crown Victoria. And you don't... you gotta not get busted for a minute. Yeah, Heat 1 cops, like those cops you usually only get on Heat Level 1, but we are currently on Heat Level 3. Damn, would you look at that? I remember the cops doing a move like that. So here's also another theory that I have. I think the cops in the demo are actually smarter than in the final game. Like, the shit they pull is a lot more advanced. Uh, where's the closest pursuit breaker? Let's see if they work, they're not marked on the map. 
Make sure I got some on my ass. Wait, is this one... This one's turned the other way. I think it was flipped by 90 degrees. That is interesting. I guess they did that because it's... It's super hard to hit, actually. Don't think anyone ever... <laughs> documented that. And there we go. Mia versus Raj. I could swear the speedo looks different, too. But this track race also never appeared in the final game, like this particular one. And there we go, don't get busted, I have two minutes. But I think first we get like a really cool in-game cutscene. And the funny thing is, <laughs> condition 2 cops are not condition 5. <laughs> Rhinos though. But yeah, the thing is, I actually remember playing this demo. I picked up a PlayStation magazine from a market a very long time ago. And I actually had this demo. I actually played it. Dude. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. I've never been this scared of Condition 2 Cops. Yeah, it's GG. It's GG. Everyone was so close, man. Cool busted cutscene. Dude, what is this? Dude, I got strangled. What the fuck? That is a new one. I think they changed something regarding the Pursuit Breakers. You know, like, the thing in the in the final game is they only have to get close to the Pursuit Breaker and they die, right? Like, even if it's already down, if they just get close to it... Well, I think in this it's just like they actually have to get, like, hit by it. So they actually made it a little bit easier for the final game. Dude, look how- what the fuck? The Rhinos are so much more agile. You saw that? I could have easily avoided them. In the final game, but they just went straight into the other direction. Right, cops are definitely a lot harder in this. But yeah, there we go. Got our bounty, got our spot on the blacklist. And another special cutscene. It ain't over. And you get a cheat code. As far as I know, this one only works on the PlayStation 2 version of the game and i think it gives you a junk man engine in the career but yeah that's the that's a ps2 demo the most interesting demo out of the bunch we tried so far uh, underground one demo was certainly interesting underground two as well but this was easily the most interesting one so far because it was like super uh you know it has lots of differences like lots of lots lots of differences so moving on, and this is the last PlayStation 2 demo we have for now. There's one more after this one. And this is Carbon. I actually haven't checked this one out either. Let's see what it's like. Need to be Carbon. It's definitely using a different logo already. It's always a good sign. Interesting. Different picture of Nikki. Right, when it comes to my favorite NFS, I'm always struggling between... Back in town. Now I want to hear you're gone. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was an extra part to the cutscene. Interesting. But yeah, that, that Kenji thing at the end, that was definitely new. Alright. So let's check this out. So we can either choose an exotic Tuna or muscle. For Tuna, we have a nice Evo MR. Light screen. Ah, now, now the games don't look as stretched anymore. Nice. I mean, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a save state here, and then we can load and try other cars as well. Let's just try all of them. Now they actually let you customize these things. Okay. Honestly, I really... I found... I thought this was so cool. I still think this is cool. And I still think they should bring that back. We had both the Drift and Circuit events to unlock the Canyon Duel against Kenji. We're already up against Kenji. Ooh, we're in the tutorial area. Okay. Okay, so certain differences that I already noticed. Uh, mainly in the UI, first of all. First and foremost. That gas station. Where did you, where did you see the gas station? So here's the thing. If there's a gas station, that means that's probably a pursuit breaker. Which means that this city was actually planned to be part of the base map, rather than a tutorial area. Right, because in the base game, you're never gonna have cops here. Ah, there it is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this spot was always empty, right? Like, that felt really weird. Boom. Yeah, so this was probably supposed to be in the game, this area here. Where you can actually, like, encounter cops and everything. Yeah, look at that, there's another pursuit breaker. That stuff is usually empty and looks so weird. Now you clearly can tell there was supposed to be something. What about this here? It's another Pursuit Breaker. See? Because I, I didn't remember these like weird signs there either. 
But at least the drifting track seems to be normal. Drifting, I mean, sure, it looks a little bit different here. Like the UI and everything. But it seems to work the same way. Handling and everything. Kenji here is the leader of the Scorpions. Easy, interesting. Perfection. Okay, what happens if I die? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I hit an invisible wall there. Alright, we've taken control of all the tracks. There it is, man. Interesting looking map. It's not the final map of the game. Race on the edge, dominate the city. So we can now try a different car. I'm just gonna do the tuning here. So we can do the customization on the other cars, but I think this is just stuff from the base game, so... You guys shouldn't see anything new here, really. Alright, interesting. And that's it already for the PS2 demos, but there is one more. One more demo, and this one is actually not for PS2, so... It won't, it won't run as dog shit. And it is the Need for Speed Pro Street Porsche demo. Yes, Pro Street Porsche. This is the closest thing you will get to uh, another Porsche Unleashed. This demo right here. So, we have two events here in Porsche Leipzig, which is interesting because this was actually uh, not in the final game, this track. This track was, I think, DLC only, and only for consoles too. So yeah, this, this obviously, as the name should suggest, this demo has only Porsches. But this is mostly Pro Street as you know it. This version doesn't really offer that many differences. It's mostly interesting because it only features like Porsches and some like additional art. <laughs> Dude! What are these Pepega drivers, man? As per usual for Pro Street, oops, that was the wrong button. You get these really detailed damage models. Which I learned recently is actually uh, auto-generated. Like these are actually not made by hand as they usually are. Wow, the sense of speed is so much better in the far cam. Yeah, the, the damage is auto-generated. Or procedurally procedurally generated, I guess is the a better word for it. It's really, really cool. Definitely ahead of its time. Alright, so what happens next? Do we just get these two races? No, nothing. That's a pretty lame demo, I'll be honest. I feel like they kind of failed to translate the festival feeling. Didn't really do them a favor to use the Leipzig track as well, because that's the easily the lamest track in the entire game. But yeah, that is it. We went through all the Need for Speed demos within around about two hours, all the way from uh, Hop Suit 2 to uh, Pro Street. I think if we're talking my personal favorite demo, was definitely the Underground 2 one. I think that one gave you like a lot to do and you know, a lot of freedom to explore and everything, which is you know what Underground 2 was about. If we're talking the version that has the most differences, I think it has to be Most Wanted. Most Wanted was definitely the most interesting one. Like, the Most Wanted demo had so many differences pretty much everywhere, even in the map itself, which was really interesting to see. Uh, like, even the story was just kind of, like, different, where, you know, Raj is Blacklist number 16. So that was certainly interesting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip here. One more time, a big shout-out to uh, Takumi Nightco, which, uh, who, I, unfortunately, I don't think is here right now, but he actually provided most of the demos uh, we saw today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna call it here, I just wanted to show off these little demos and I hope you guys found them just as interesting as I did. Take care, take it easy, and peace. See you guys.